Me and Earl was hauling chickens in a flatbed out of Wiggins, and we'd spent all night on the uphill side of 37 miles of hell called Wolf Creek Pass, which is up on the Great Divide. We was sitting there sucking toothpicks, drinking knee highs and onion soup mix, and I say, Earl, let's mail a card to Mother, and then send them chickens down up to the other side. Yeah, let's give them a ride. Well, Earl put down his bottle and mashed his foot down on the throttle, and then a couple of boobs with a thousand cubes and a 1948 Peterbilt screamed to life. We woke up them chickens. We roared up off that shoulder, spraying pine cones, rocks, and boulders, and put 400 head of them rode on reds and a couple of burnout roosters on the line. Look out below, because here we go. Well, we commenced to truck it, and the hens commenced to cluck it. And then Earl took out a match and scratched his pants and lit an unused half of a dollar cigar and took a puff, says, my, ain't it pretty up here? I say, Earl, this hill can spill us. You better slow down or you're going to kill us. Just make one mistake and it's the pearly gates for them 85 crates of USDA-approved cluckers. You want to hit second? Well, Earl grabbed on the shifter and he stabbed her in the fifth gear and then the chromium plated fully illuminated genuine accessory shift knob come right off in his hand. I says, you want to screw that thing back on, Earl? He was trying to thread it on there and the fire fell off his cigar and dropped down and sort of rolled around and then lit the cuff of Earl's pants and burned the hole in the socks and sort of set him right on fire. I looked on out the window and started counting phone poles going by the rate of four to the seventh power. Well, I put two and two together and added 12 and carried five and come up with 22,000 telephone poles an hour. I looked at Earl, his eyes was wide, his lip was curled and his leg was fried and his hand was froze to the wheel like a tongue in a slide to the middle of a blizzard. I said, Earl, I'm not the type to complain, but the time has come for me to explain that if you don't apply some brake real soon, they're going to have to pick us up with a stick and a spoon. Well, Earl reared back and cocked his leg, stepped down as hard as he could on the brake, and the pedal went clear to the floor and stayed right there on the floor. He couldn't step on it. He says it sort of felt like stepping on a plum. Well, from there on down, it just wasn't real pretty. It was a hairpin county in Switchback City. One of them looked like a can of worms, and the other looked like malaria germs. Right in the middle of the whole damn show was a real nice tunnel now, wouldn't you know? Sign says clearance to 12-foot line, but the chickens were stacked 13-9. While well, we shot that tunnel 110 like gas through a funnel and eggs through a hen, and we took the top row of chickens off slicker than the scum of a Louisiana swamp. We went down, around, down until we run aground on the edge of town, bashed in the side of a feed store. Downtown Pagosa Springs.